Hello, in this video I want to teach you how to use CSS Clip Path Polygon, explain to you how coordinate system works here, and how you can create different sorts of shapes in your design with CSS Clip Path tool. Let's start with quick and easy way, and for that just Google CSS Clip Path Generator. So I just clicked the first link that popped. You have all sorts of different available shapes. Let's click parallelogram. And what I want to do, let's say for example, is sort of slanted div. And at the bottom you can see the property clay path polygon with set coordinates. Let's pop that in here. Okay, so this is quick and easy way just to use the CSS clip pass generator to work on any sort of shape you want. But if you want to understand how this coordinate system works and how you can create shapes without using CSS clip path generator, consider staying. So let's comment that out. And the way CSS clip path works is that you pass it x, y coordinate values. And the coordinate system is here like this. In the upper left corner, you have 0, 0 for x and y. Going to the right would mean increasing x value and going to the bottom would mean increasing y value. So this is pretty straightforward. So so the bottom left corner would be at 100% for y, but it would be still 0 for x because we didn't move to the right. Now what you do with clip pass and using polygon as a basic shape, you put several points as much as you want so that they would be connected and everything outside that clip path would be invisible. Let's do a triangle here and see how this works. Clip path polygon. So triangle consists of three vertices. So what we need is three points. The important thing to realize here is that it doesn't matter where our first point is, but you have to imagine this in a way that the points will be placed in a clockwise direction. Our first point will be in the middle at the top, our second point will be bottom right corner, and our third point will be bottom left corner. So how do we do that? So what we do is we write a series of x, y's separated by commas, x and y values. So our first x value would be 50% and it would be 0% for y because we want it in the middle at the top. Our second value will be bottom right corner. So bottom for y means 100% and the rightmost corner would mean 100% for x value as well. So we would write 100%, 100%. And our third point will be bottom left corner. So for x it's 0 and for y 100%. And now as you can see, we have our triangle. We place three points, one in the middle here, next point at the right here, and third point bottom left corner. Now to make sure you understand how clip pass works with polygon shapes, let's recreate this rectangle and see. So rectangle has four points, top left, top right, bottom right, and bottom left. And remember order here matters. So we're going left to right, right to bottom right, and bottom right to bottom left. It doesn't matter how you can put as many points as you want to create complex shapes, but this is the order that they will be placed and that might play a difference in creating an absolutely different image and I will show you how that might happen in a second. So let's put those four points for our polygon. It wouldn't change our rectangle but just to show you how those points would be placed. So first is 0, 0, that is x is 0 and y is 0, our leftmost corner. Next point is our rightmost corner, that would be 100% for x, 0 for y. Then we go down 100% for y and we're still at 100% for x, so that is 100%, 100%. And then we're going back to zero for x, but we're still staying at 100% for y value. And now if we would want to create a slanted div without using a CSS generator like we did here, we just can play with our third point here, uh, that is the right, the bottom right corner, we can take this y value and we can decrease it as much as we want it to go upwards, so to speak. So let's say 80%, 83%, 90%, depends on the angle you want. And this is basically it. And let's see what happens if you mess up the order. Let's say you wanted this to be your third point here, but you put it at the fourth value. The image is completely changed. Why did that happen though? Let's go back to the CSS clip path generator and it has great visuals to explain you how does this happen. So you have this four points connected. If you take this third point, the way it goes, it you put it all the way down here and your fourth point all the way down here. So this is the way it kind of twists the image. If you wanted this kind of image, it it's great. And this is it for today. If you consider it useful, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, ask in the comments down below.